today I want to talk to you about two animals that you know very well, the crab and the buffalo. And what's the difference between the two? See, oftentimes, especially in our daily lives, we operate from the place of a crab. And what I mean by that is when you put a crab or a series of crabs into a pot, what happens is, is one of the crabs starts to crawl out of the pot because it's getting hot. The other crabs pull them back down. Now, this is a phenomenon that's been seen time and time again. You also see this with people. So oftentimes what happens is if somebody starts to up-level their lives, whether it be in their business or relationships are very common as well, um, the people around them get scared. They get scared because they realize that they're not doing those things that they should be doing in their lives. And so they are not up-leveling. And so what they tend to do is get, get scared and looking at the things that are happening in their lives, which causes fear and causes them to pull somebody back down. It's also another analogy to use with a crab is there's two ways to have the tallest building in the world. One is to burn everybody else's building down. Second one is to build it up as high as you possibly can. Now, I would say that being a crab is actually more common than you might think. Look at social media. Look at your social media posts and profiles. And when you actually post something or go out on a limb or, uh, or shoot a video like this, you're going to have a lot of people out there criticizing you and pulling you down. These are the crabs. The crabs are the majority. Now, in contrast, we have the buffalo. The buffalo is known that when a storm comes and the animals are running away because the storm's coming, the rain's coming down, and it's going to get vicious, the buffalo runs to the eye of the storm. It runs to the eye of the storm because it knows that after going through that adversity of the storm, it's going to get the sweetest grass, the freshest, wet, delicious grass that no other animal will get because it is actually there. The buffalo knows that if it perseveres through, the tra through tragedy or through hardship, that on the other end of that hardship is where the sweet stuff lies. And I see this time and time again with clients that I'm working with, um, both as a professional coach for high-level clients, but also in my businesses when I'm working with other people. Oftentimes, people sell themselves short because they're worried about what other people will think. They're worried about the crab. And even more importantly, and what most people don't realize, is the own crab that lies with inside of you. What is it with inside of you, that little voice that constantly says, no, maybe I shouldn't be doing that, or I'm not good enough, or what are other people going to think? These are all common crab stories. So my question for you today is where in your five to thrive are you being a crab versus a buffalo? Now, where in your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, or your business, are you allowing little things to pull you down and not up-level to the power that we actually know is inside of you? Where do you need to step up and be the buffalo and run to the eye of the storm so you can get that sweet reward at the end? That's it for me today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in our Author of Your Own Story community. And of course, go over to authorofyourownstory.com where you'll get more tips, tricks, and insights on how you can up-level your life where you can actually become more of a buffalo. That's it for me today. Have a great one. I have a question for you. What if you could transform your life for the better in just 90 days? Would you do it? Our 90-day game is an online program and community created for people like you who are ready to make a shift and take those dreams and goals they've been talking about for years and turn them into a reality within 90 days. Go to authorofyourownstory.com forward slash 90 dash day dash game and turn your goals into reality. And don't forget to be the author of your own story.